I saw the following message on the Adobe eLearning community site and it prompted me to think about a way to do this because I actually have a course where I've included an exit button right on screen and it's created on the first, in fact, in this case, the second slide of this course and uh, is displayed for the rest of the entire project. And I thought, well, there could be just a small variation that I would need to do to make this idea work. Uh, the original poster wrote, is there any way we can add some prompt message to the users when they're closing the course? So here's what I created. I created um, a grouped object, and this is simply a smart shape in the background, a rectangle, and I applied an interesting custom gradient to it to create that sort of blue title area and then the rest of it in gray. And I simply asked the question, are you sure you wish to exit the course? And I added two other smart shapes which are being used as buttons. The first one is the OK command. And if we take a look at the action associated with that, very simple, on success, exit. So it should exit the course. Uh, the other button is cancel, and this entire grouped object is called exit underscore confirmation. So it's basically three objects that I've grouped together. So the cancel action will hide the entire grouped object, in effect, canceling the request to exit the course. Now, this whole thing is not visible on output uh, when you first run the course. But when you click this exit button that I've placed in the upper right hand corner here, uh, it, the action for that will be to show the exit confirmation group object, as you can see here. I've unchecked continue playing the project because I want the project to stop playing until such time that a user clicks on one of these two buttons. Now, the key thing to make this work, just like the uh, exit button that I've included in the upper right hand corner is the timing. The timing for this entire grouped object is rest of project. So if a user clicks this button from anywhere within this project, this will appear centered in the middle of the slide. Now this is a non-responsive project, but it wouldn't be too difficult to create the same thing in a responsive project. The only thing is that you couldn't lock this particular object to a fluid box because objects locked to a fluid box cannot be displayed for the rest of the project. But you could leave it unlocked and hovering in the middle of the slide. So let's test it out and make sure it works. I'm going to preview this project in HTML5. So here we are on the first, well, actually second slide of this course. And if I click my exit button in the upper right hand corner, remember this button is set up to display for the rest of the project. So I can click this from anywhere in the course. There's my grouped object and it also is set up to display, although its initial state is not visible in output. Uh, it could be initiated from any slide within the course. If I hit cancel, it simply disappears. If I click the exit button again, I of course can now click on OK and it exits from that browser. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.